guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Philomena. This is Big Ilomi for the Live in Love and the Grow in Grace. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. I am so glad to have you all back here. Um, today, we are going to talk about my favorite activity of the day. My absolute favorite thing to do in this world which is sleep and i have just realized that because i was preparing to talk about sleep my energy levels even started uh dwindling down but i am going to try as much as i can to get my energy levels at a good place so that i can have this amazing conversation with you guys today on five ways in which you can improve your sleep now before we continue if you're new um if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you have not subscribed i don't know what you're doing please go ahead and subscribe so that you do not miss um exciting videos uh from this channel you don't want to miss out so subscribe and let's go ahead and do this I absolutely love sleep and anyone who knows me and knows me really really well does know that and one of the things that I realize is that um, people who think that I love who know that I love sleep, sleep think that it just comes easy for me and guys I'm sorry to disappoint you but it doesn't come that easily I know of people who will just close their eyes and they will get sleep. Recently, my mom just sits down and I don't know why. I think she's just always tired and she will just, she's seated, she's watching something and she's dozing off. I don't know what is happening to my mom, um, but you know, she's not complaining about it. So we'll let her have her moment and also have a, a, a family member of mine. I will not mention your name. <laughs> who just she will sleep anywhere in the noisiest place places in the busiest places she will close her eyes and she will get sleep i can't sleep well in a noisy place in a place that is very busy in an in a high energy um environment i have very specific areas and times when i can really get my best sleep sleep and that is why I have listed a list of five things that you can do to improve your sleep. If you're having um, irregular sleep hours or if you have a problem um, sleeping, getting sleep or you're having a problem doing what, getting like quality sleep, like a continuous good rest uh, for the amount of time that you want to sleep. So one of the things that you can do to improve your sleep is number one, have a good relationship with sleep. This is what I mean by this. Some people, and especially, and I will tell you because every time that I mention that I love to sleep, people will think that I am a lazy person, um, that I'm probably sleeping all the days, um, all the hours of my days. Um, that every time that I don't have anything to do, I am probably sleeping or every time I am lonely, depressed and uh, angry, angry that, that's when I, I, will, I will always resort to sleeping. That you need to understand what sleep does for you. I do know and this is sad for me to say that when you are depressed, um, and I say this because I, I have done this a few times in the past when I am depressed, when I'm anxious, when I'm sad about something, when I'm angry or I don't want to process a certain emotion, I want to just sleep. But the thing that you have to re remember is sleep just shuts you down for just a while. And uh, during that while your subconscious is still thinking about that thing. And so when you wake up, you continue from where you left. Sleep doesn't help you heal from any troubles that you have with um, in your life. Sleep helps you to rest. It helps to shut your um, to shut your mind for just a while, for it to recharge 
and then when you wake up you continue with your life from where you left it off having a good relationship means that you understand what sleep is going to do for you that it is going to help you to recharge but it is not going to help you to deal with your anxiety to deal with your to deal with depressions if you need help with anything please get some get some of that help um the other thing is sleep is not a healer for loneliness and uh, boredom you will sleep and then when you wake up if you don't get something to do with um the time that you're free you're still going to be as bored as uh, as you are you're still going to be as lonely as you are so if you're having feelings of loneliness you need to figure out how to deal with those if you have you're having an issue with um boredom you need to know how to fill up your what to fill up your time with there are these people who who just have this notion that sleep is for the lazy sleep makes you not reach your goals sleep makes you like makes you lesser of a lesser of a successful person sleep makes you just lesser of a hustler a successful person it will not make you get to your goals like good sleep patterns will actually be a part of making you as su- successful as possible because then you need sleep to um recharge yourself to get re-energized to just help your mind and your body rest so that you can keep going on with your goals so have a good relationship with your with, with your sleep understand things about sleep understand your sleep patterns understand how much sleep you need understand anything around sleep understand if you have to read about it read about it if you have to talk to people about it like change your mindset into a uh, a mindset that allows for you to have um healthy sleep uh beliefs and healthy sleep patterns improve your sleep environment one of the things that i love to do is any uh, immediately when i wake up i don't leave my room until i make my bed and i make it so perfectly i think the one thing that i do know that i do perfectly every day is making my bed and i do this intentionally so that the next time that i am coming back my mind knows that this is a clean and safe place for me to sleep and it is ready and receptive of me to sleep and i know that that sounds crazy but if you don't if your mind needs a tuning to for it to be ready to sleep it is cleaning your room make sure that your your room is clean your bed is neat your room is neat bright lights um you need dimmer lights um in your room when it is time for sleep um you need to make it warm if you are a, a person who sleeps well in a warm environment if sure that your sleep environment is conducive and receptive for you to sleep and what and the one major thing that you want to do is 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 to, is to tune your mind to know that this environment is receptive for you to sleep this environment is ready for you to sleep you don't have to do anything there's no cleaning required there's nothing there's no work required for you to do you don't even have to think about anything this place is ready this environment is ready uh, to support you to sleep the third thing that you need to do in order to improve your sleep is to set up a downtime a downtime what i mean by a downtime is like have a, a routine that or activities that um help you relax and set your mind into sleep mode 
have activities around your sleep time like that an hour two hours 30 minutes before sleep times that uh, prepare you for sleep and your downtime really can be as simple as have a meal um, or take a shower to help you relax from the day's busy schedule um, having a gratitude list to either write or just say whether it's your prayer time whether it's reading your bible or reading a nice book whatever it is helps you to help to relax you and get you ready for a uh, sleep that is what you need to do surrounding your down time what you eat and drink before bedtime now I it I am really 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 affected by anything that has caffeine in it um, if I drink it anytime after 6 p.m. I will just have a hard time to sleep so what I do I will I will try as much as possible not to take tea or coffee um, sometimes even soda um, just anything that makes me start getting active instead of slowing down so whatever it is whether it is eating or drinking make sure that whatever you eat doesn't make you uh, hyperactive but slows you down the other thing that I have realized recently is I have been slowing down with taking um, with my water intake and so I will I will it will get at 7 p.m. and I realize I still have a little a liter of water to go for my day's mark which is two liters in a day and so what I want to do is in those few hours before sleep time I want to make sure that I sleep I take um, my one liter of water now that's not a bad thing the only problem is that I have to go to the loo a few times to get rid of all that water before I sleep and so what that does is it can delay my sleep one of my cousins the other day was telling me that she has to have at least three bathroom breaks in the middle of the night and I'm like what you need to condition your body to do what you want not your body to do what it wants if it is sleep time condition your body because your body is used to a routine and what you will realize is if you're used to having uh, bathroom breaks at certain times your body at those certain times will tell you that it is time for you to go for that bathroom break so if you do not want to have bathroom breaks for eight hours while you are sleeping condition your body not to do that just before you sleep have your last bathroom break and then you can do that the first thing when you wake up just condition your body put your body into a certain routine so that it may get used to that and that you can get good quality sleep set up a sleep routine and i know that this is crazy but listen to me it, it maybe it is not that crazy what i mean is if you need eight hours of sleep like i do a maximum of eight hours then set up what those times are if it is from 10 to 6 or 11 to 7 or whatever times it is set up a routine now your body is uh, does better with routines than if you have you get your body used to having sleep at starting at 10 p.m at 10 p.m your body will be requiring for you to sh uh, for you to slow down and for you to sleep and so get your body into a good routine if you want eight hours of sleep set up what those times are now the other thing is during the day if you need a nap time like sometimes i do set up a nap time that doesn't affect your sleep time what i mean by this is, this is that sometimes not sometimes if i sleep uh if i have a nap past 3 p.m i will be having a hard time to sleep at 10 p.m which is my ideal time for sleeping so what i do is try as much as possible to get any naps that i need before 3 p.m and so that and then that means that my sleep time at 10 will not be affected the other thing is if i have uh, naps longer than two hours 
my sleep time will be affected so what i try to do if i really really do require a nap time doesn't matter how long i need it i will try as much as possible and make sure that it is within two hours two hours of nap time during the day so that i don't get a, my sleep time doesn't get affected and then i can sleep at 10 and have eight hours of good beautiful nourishing sleep from 10 to 6 or whatever other so that is it from me today these are uh, five ways in which i find effective to make sure that i get good sleep time and that i can go ahead and brag to everyone that i am a good sleeper it's not that i am a natural or that i have a supernatural <laughs> supernatural power of sleeping it's just i try as much as possible to make sure that i am ready and that my body is ready and that my environment is ready and receptive of me to sleep as well as i want to do and to get nourished and to get re-energized for um any other activities that i have after my sleep will see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe like this video if you know someone who will uh, who this video who would love this video please share it with them and i will see you on the next one bye bye darlings